guys, welcome back to uh, part three. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to test there's going to be no leaks before I seal this up. I don't want to seal this up and find out it's leaking. It would be a hell of a job to sort out. So, this is my water container that's going to hold the water. That's for any steam that's generated will get out that's going to be me in that's going to be me out I have got a, like a thermostat thermometer to go in there so we can basically as the water's getting warm we can pick up how hot it's getting um, I've just welded these joints on it hopefully they should be okay I've got 15 mil copper fittings to go on here, so we'll we'll uh, get that done. And then we'll connect the heat exchanger to it. And I've got. To go with it too. So we'll start connecting everything together. We'll get that filled with water, and then we'll run the pump to make sure there's no um, leaks. Fingers crossed there isn't, and if there's no leaks, we'll put the lid on that. I'll weld it, seal it, and then uh, we'll do a full test on it. Hey guys, um, <clears throat> yeah, it looks like uh, Spaghetti Junction at the moment. <clears throat> um, got the pump, the exchanger, the boiler stroke burner, and um, the water, hot water holder, whatever. I've also got a fan. That goes on the back of the heat exchanger and I've got a thermostatic controller. What that'll do is when it I can set it so when it reaches a certain temperature the fan will kick in automatically if I can figure out how to work it. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna build a frame and then I'll show you um, mounting each part to the frame so we can get it up and running. Um, I don't want to try and start it up here. Uh, too much can go wrong, at least when it's on a frame. Um, I can get access to it quickly. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll build a frame and I'll uh, come back to you. I'm gonna use this water container. It's a fire extinguisher, but it's a water container. Um, I've decided I've made a, um, I've got a framework. I'm going to mount everything on the frame. Um, there's no point doing it on the bench, so I'm going to fasten it to the uh, framework, and then I'm going to show you bit by bit. So I welded a bracket on here. That's going to go onto the frame in a minute. I was a bit unsure how to mount that. Um, I can't weld to it. But what I've, what, I've, what I've gone and done is got some brackets. So when it's in situ, Holds it in place, and I'm going to weld it to the framework. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to weld the the water container to the frame, and uh, I'll come back to you.
Good little extractor. Right. I'm going to weld this here in position. Fish. Okay, now we've got this in position. Right. Hot water, that's going in, coming out. And in there has got a um, temperature gauge. All right, next job is to fit this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the top on it. I'm going to weld round it, and then I'm going to put this in position where it's easy enough for the pipe work to go connect to the, the pump and to the bottle. So, yeah, I'm gonna sort that one out now. <clears throat> right, all welded in. Now the next thing to do now is fit this to the frame. That's the hot water out. So, probably something like that so I can weld it to the actual frame. So I'll probably need to put a piece of metal, weld a piece of metal onto that section there and then weld it to the frame. I'm just wondering if a piece of metal will be enough because it's, it's quite heavy this. Right, I've welded a piece of metal on the back of the uh, the burner section and I've welded it to the um, piece of metal on the side so I'll show you. There it is now in situ cold well going in hot hopefully coming out it's going to come up into there and then from there this point here it's going to go into the uh, heat exchanger Thermostat. Right. Before I can start piping it up, I've got to figure out. Oh, that's a seal. Don't lose that. 
where to mount this. I've got the two brackets, so somewhere on here I'm going to have to fit it. Uh, bearing in mind once it's fitted I've got to fit the fan and the fan has got a thermostat controller so I can set this um, to a temperature for it to kick in to start blowing warm air if it all works and then once this is in place I shall um, connect the pipe work which I'll show you and then I can, we can fill it with water switch the pump on and then uh, check for any leaks and if there's no leaks we'll go for a full burn and hopefully everything should be okay right guys I actually made a, a bracket for the heat exchanger heat exchanger slots in here and I'm going to fasten this to here let it slot in so what I'm going to do I'm going to weld this onto there slot the heat exchanger in and then I'll give you a, a view on it right guys this is how far I've got so far I've got the heat exchanger in with a fan to pull air through. I've got the burner fitted and I've got the bottle that uh, holds the water that's fitted too. All I've got left to do is fit the pump. Now, the way this is going to go is, it's going to go just underneath the fan, and then uh, connect it through. And fingers crossed, everything will uh, should work. Um, I've got to now just sort out the pump and I'll need like a fuel tank for the diesel stroke oil and then I think we're ready to go. But anyway, um, I shall uh, show you a bit of a close-up. Right guys, a bit of a close-up. This end here will go to the pump. And then the other end of the pump will c connect here. The siphon nozzle that's the burner coil inside water pushes through heats up comes up into into here and then down through and through the heat exchanger this is the temperature which is that one there now this is a temperature controller which is connected directly to the fan I shall set it for temperature to kick in instead of the fan blasting straight away I've got the speed controller for the fan so I can set the speed controller for the fan and I can increase it or decrease it and then yeah that's the pump Three speeds on this one, but uh, we'll just start at the slowest, and then uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, um, that's enough for part three. Um, next one will be with the pump fitted and 
going for the test run I think and then we'll uh, go from there so uh, anyway if you like it give us a thumbs up subscribe uh, so you won't miss out on the next one and um, yeah I'll see you soon